Mission complete. Welcome back, everyone, to... I have been asked to declare war against the Hofgum Nation. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Stellaris. Um, complete. I, uh, sorry, I I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Anyway, uh, welcome back to another episode of Stellaris. I have done some work off-screen... Um, I didn't want to have you guys have to sit through all the boring part of maintaining and building up an empire, but I was able to complete Spaceport 6, so now I am building battleships. As you can see, my fleet has increased significantly. I am um, starting to build my way up in terms of power. Even though they're technically superior to me, I am uh, equivalent in power to the Hathcom Nation now. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on them and uh, and take hopefully take all their systems. And then I'll have this entire section. Um, uh, while we were away, we encountered a couple more civilizations, including whatever the, the Zack plot, interplanetary polity. So, um, and they're very weak. So after I conquer the Hothcom Nation, I'll probably just go ahead and just steamroll and take them over too um so that's kind of the general plan i'm going with my plan on the lat into the last episode was to after i defeated the half nation was to declare war on them however both of these two have a defensive pack with the wasiji commonwealth so if i were to declare war on one i would have to fight all three of them now granted i could probably get my buddy here in it with me but I don't think I want to do that just yet. I need to build up my empire a little bit more before I start doing it, do stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to try to expand this way um, as best as I can. One other thing that's been going on is the administration of Ennis Toth, my buddy here, has been in war with uh, this dude. And he's actually winning from what I'm gathering because he is the second strongest in the whole galaxy now and where is he they are now equivalent even though they have many more stars and they're actually their fleet is, fleet is pathetic compared to mine so i'm thinking if i can beat the hathcom nation then i can take the, the zack plot interplayer interplanetary polity down then i can keep on expanding up and then i can take out them and eventually i'll just have this entire like arm of the galaxy all to myself then once that happens, then I'll be able to start building battleships, and then I'll start be able to taking on more people at a time. Might actually be able to expand down here because Hathcom Nation has a planet down here. So if I take this from them, I'll be able to expand into this arm of the galaxy as well. So that's kind of a general guideline of where I'm at right now in this game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build another battleship. Once we finish these two battleships, I think my fleet should be superior to the Hathcom Nation, um, and then I should be able to attack them. If not, I'll keep on building battleships, because they only have three planets, and I have, like, how many do I have? How many planets do I have? Uh, I have 20. So, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there, so I will be able to outspend them significantly um, as time goes on. Let's go genome, uh, yeah, genome mapping, that should be, it's only 11 months too, we'll go with that one. Um, I've also done, been building some infrastructure in the Empire, I've been building up these planets, um, I just upgraded, oh, I just upgraded this planet with the, uh, with the planetary capital, so now I can go ahead and build up the infrastructure on that planet. Colonized another planet as well. Um, actually, I think I had sent the colony ship to this planet at the end. Oh, I can colonize some more planets now. Um, let's go ahead and colonize this one. No, this one. So let's colonize. I do have a colony ship. I can colonize one, two, three, four more. No, one, two, three, four, five more. Okay. Okay. So, I need to start building up some colony ships. Oops, not, no. There we go. And then we'll build another colony ship there. We'll start colonizing all these planets. I'm going to see, like I said, I'm going to see what my power rating is. 
compared to the Half Beam Nation once my battleship finishes. And then that should tell me if I have the go ahead to fight them or not. Because I could go ahead and invite my partner here into the war. I would take all the plans, but he That's I could have him like humiliate them and that he might accept it. So we'll see. Um, they're inferior to me now. Yeah. So once I finish this battleship, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to war with them and take hopefully take all their planets. And then I'll be able to expand up. Um, like I said, I'm not going to take them on. I do have... A good relationship with this. The good thing is, when you're playing this game, you want to find, try to find the most powerful empires and ally with them. My two strongest allies in this game right now are them and them. And they are number two and number four, respectively, in terms of galactic power. So, I'm feeling pretty good. And then once I start expanding, I'll be able to bump up my power as well. Um, I'm almost more powerful than the Reltech administration. I have a stronger fleet than them right now already. Um, the, they're superior to me and they're superior. No, they're equivalent to me. Those are my neighbors, but I can't take all three of them at the same time because they all have defensive packs. So that's not going to happen. However, I will take them on. And we will take all their planets. So Hothcom Nations... Be prepared. They do have superior technology, which is a little worrying. So they, even though technically their fleet is inferior, they could still beat me because they have better equipped ships. So maybe, maybe I don't go to war with them right away. Maybe I build like two more battleships. And um, see, I need the Devastator torpedoes to finish up. Because that's going to increase my ship's damage significantly, but I can't do that yet. Um, I could do naval capacity. Yeah, let's do naval. Should I do hydroponics farms? Let's do hydroponics farms first. That's that's a quick fix. Um, what was the one I just finished researching? Oh, okay, good. So let's. I do want to go in here and look at my planets, though. See, there's I have a lot of planets here that are have a surplus of food, and most of them are fully populated. So I could probably, yeah. So I could take out this farm and replace it with a science lab, and same with this one. And I think I should still be good because this one has a surplus of eight right now, and those only are six combined. Um, let's see, this planet has a surplus of seven, but it's fully populated. So, let's look farm. I can take this farm out, replace it with a basic science lab. Uh, this planet has pop has a surplus of eight food, so again, same thing, we can replace two of them. I have plenty of mineral output, so I'm just gonna work on science labs and increase my research speed. Construction. This one I'm gonna leave for the moment. Uh, I can, I'm going to go ahead and build another battleship. Um, Construction complete. let's see, where were we? We were on this planet. Construction complete. This planet has a surplus of six, but it still has some populations to fill in. So I'm not going to do anything with that yet. I will, however, upgrade some of those. This planet has fully populated, but I can't take any farms out. This planet's not nearly populated enough yet. And this planet still has plenty of blockers to clear, so I'm going to leave all those farms on there. So, do I, have a col I have colony ships built. Okay. Let's go ahead colonize this one. This has a lot of tiles on it. We can definitely do some work here. So, we'll colonize this one. Put it right there. And then, let's see, this sector has four, so we can colonize one more planet and put it in that sector. So, we will put this one here. And then we'll go ahead and manage that sector and make it bigger. So, I think we're coming along nicely. Battleships being built. Let's look at, we just had two more battleships be built. So, let's look at our relative power. 
They're still inferior. However, like I said, since their technology is overwhelming to ours, I do want... Construction complete. Do want to build up my fleet a little bit. I could be the protector, but I'm not going to because I'm not a bitch. Um, let's offer a trade deal. Let's give... I want to do something here. I want to give them a great trade deal. Let's see if that bumps up their opinion of me. It does. Was that give me an alliance? Oh, I only bumped it up too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make an alliance this game. Research complete. Because they're like the closest to having an alliance with me, and they're still negative 27 off. Um, let's go ahead and go with that. Alright. So I do want to go ahead and offer a trade to the bird people here. Let's offer research agreements. Star charts, damn, they are not, they're not going for it. <sighs> that sucks. So I have, I almost have enough minerals for another battleship, though. Two more month turns and I should have enough. Then after I build a battleship here and a battleship there, then I should be able to go to war. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here and I'll be back once I've built these two battleships and we'll go to war with the Hothcom Nation. We have just finished constructing our other battleship. So now I think we're ready to go to war. Uh, I went ahead and colonized like three more planets while I was at it. Uh, so let's go ahead first before we go to war. Let's get this uh, this planet on track here. So let's clear these blockers. Let's get you to be built as a power plant. Let's get you to be built as mine. And let's get you to be built as a hydroponics farm. So now, colony established. I want to go ahead and save. Go ahead and save that. Okay. So now let's move our fleet right here. That way we're ready to, to pounce as soon as uh, as soon as we're as soon as the uh, the war starts. So they only, they actually have four planets now. That's fine. So we're going to pounce here really quick. Where is my fleet at? Fortunately, my Devastator torpedoes are still a long ways off. So we're going to have to save fucking for now. And wait. Wait on them to be researched. But I think I have a strong enough fleet that it shouldn't matter. I mean, I'm just looking at them, and they are inferior to us, and they've been inferior to me for a while in terms of their fleet size, so I think I should be good. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our our pals. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and declare war. So we want Bax, for sure. We want their home planet here. We want Eptrabon. We want Phonax. Can we get this one too? No, we can't. Okay. So we'll leave this. Or should I take that off and just take these three up here? Just say, fuck it. They can stay down there in that solar system for now. I think I'm going to do that. And then that way I can just go ahead and have all the stars in here and then just start expanding upwards. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and move my fleet in here. Oh, I forgot that. That's, oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot. I meant to do this. I meant to include my buddy up top in the war. And I forgot. Let's do this again. So let's get you over here. Actually, this is in my star system, so I can just move them right there. That way I'm, like, close and I'm ready to go. Let's get this up to fastest speed. Do I have anything here to research? No, just space amoebas and mining drones. Yeah, I'm a long ways off on all my research here. But, uh, yeah. So, I meant to include my buddy here in the war, to the war declaration. They can help significantly. 
who knows, I might be able... Hopefully they carry me through this war like they did the last time, actually. Let's see, yeah, they have 170 opinion of us, so that's good. That's really good. Um... I can't do anything with them. Okay. So, my fleet is about to go there. So, let's go ahead and start declaring the war here. So, let's declare war. I want Bax. I want Xeris. And I want Etrabon. I'm going to invite attackers. Done. And I'm going to... Confirm and see if he accepts. Hopefully, he accepts the uh, the vote. Did he decline it already? All right. Well, fuck it. I'm going to war then. I don't need them. I don't need your help. Confirm. Let's send my fleet in. Let's go, boys. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. All right. One thing I wish Hostile this fleet engaged. Uh oh. Situation log updated. Oh, that's Situation transport fleet, okay. Updated. Uh, here come their fleets. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. No, that's nothing. What about this one up here? Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, that's a little bit of a Situation fleet. Here comes the rest of their updated. fleet. Construction complete. They just have, they just have corvettes. I should be able to win this fight easily. Their Admiral has a lot more skill, but... I mean, we are... Our... This is just going to be a wipe. It should be, at least. I'm going to keep on building battleships, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and embark that army and send this army in here. Yeah, this is going well. We're only losing cruisers, which is fine. They, we, The battleships are the main things that we want to keep, so... It's fine that we lose cruisers. They only have one... They had two battleships in here. How close is this guy to leveling up, the Admiral? Oh, maybe that doesn't go through to the end of the battle. I'm actually losing this fight. What the fuck? How am I losing this fight? The ships are taking zero damage. How the fuck am I losing this fight? Retreat. Situation Retreat. Updated. No, 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 no. We need you to go right here, big guy. <clears throat> I need to repair. Holy shit! Like they they had nothing but corvettes and destroyers, and they still with my ass. This is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. Good thing I got my fleet out of there when I did. Because I would have lost a lot more battleships because all of them were about to die. I think I might be able to go back in and do some more damage. I might just have to wait for the Devastator tor Torpedoes to be honest.
I'm surprised. Dude, like, all they had was Corvettes and Destroyers, and they still whipped my butt. Like, that wasn't even close. They have better shields, too. I only have the second level of shield, so that probably has a lot to do with it. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit tougher than I had previously thought. Construction complete. Actually, I tell you what, here's what I might do. I'm going to load the previous save. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to declare war on them, but I'm going to invite my partner to the north up there. But this time, I'm going to offer him... Let's see. Where are you? Okay. So let's declare war. But this time, I'm going to invite him... So yeah, let's invite him. Let's invite them. Alright, done. So, they're just going to humiliate. They're not going to do anything else. We will give them Xeris. We'll take Box and Etrapon and Fennec. Yeah, I can't do that one. Okay. But I might be able to do that. They might accept that now. Failed. Alright, well... Now I know. So, I need to build up my fleet even more. I need to build up my fleet much, 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 much more. I'm going to have to wait for the Devastator Torpedoes. At this point, I need to wait for them to finish. Because there's no other way around it. They just fucked me up. <laughs> there's no other way to put it. Um, so, yeah, let's build a battleship. I wonder if I could... Can I go to war with them in the meantime while I'm waiting to build up? Yeah. So we want to go to war. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just go to war with them instead. I want your planet. Give it. And then we'll embark them. Can we get them? Oh, I can't get them over here. Shit. I might not be able to win this war. Alright, let's do that. So, we're building up more battleships. I do want to try to beat them first. Although I'm not sure if I can... I can't get my transport ships over there, unfortunately. I wish I could go from, like, here to here. I wonder if... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I... Transport ship? Let's upgrade that. There we go. Alright. Now... Let's upgrade this. Construction complete. Now can my ships get over here? Ships upgraded. Ha ha! They can. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Transport fleet. Calm your tits. Let's just get you right there for the moment. So I'll be able to beat them in a war, and I should be able to colonize most of these planets over here. And then... I might just save Hofgum Nations and go ahead and try to go up. Actually, I, th I should probably try to collapse on the Hofgum Nations, though. But this war won't... I probably shouldn't even lose any ships, quite honestly. So I can just keep on building my battleships while I'm fighting the Zack Plot Interplanetary Polity. And then that'll buy me time for my Devastor Devastator Torpedoes to research. Can I research anything else here? 
No. Okay. Keep on researching that then. Ugh, these ships are so slow. Is there anything that we can upgrade on the surface of these planets? Can upgrade that to a bio lab. Actually, let's go engineering facility. Do another bio lab here. Another power plant. Another power plant. Right. And we're still fine in terms of food production. So that's good. So we're almost here. So once my fleet jumps from here to here, I'll just go ahead and send my transport ships in. Hostile fleet detected. Okay. They sent their fleet to me. Cool. Uh, my battleship here is almost done. I do want to check something out, though. Hold on. Let me pause that really quick. I want to... Let's see. Science ship. I want to upgrade the engines on this. And then construction ship. I need to upgrade the engines on that. And then I should be able to start expanding. So now, can I send my science ship across here? No, I can't. Can I send them over here? No, I can't. I'll just have to build a science ship one over here. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too worried about this fleet here because my battleship is almost done constructing. I um, guess I could go ahead and build a couple corvettes here. Complete. And I'll go ahead and send my transport fleet in here. They have nothing but corvettes. Alright, let's see your home system here, buddy. Is he even, like, firing on any of my ships? No? Construction complete. Let's just keep, let's just build up a couple more Corvettes, just in case. Just so we have some Hostile cannon fodder. Fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. That yeah, Corvette. No, I don't have a Corvette docking yard. Never mind. Uh... <clears throat> Evading hostile fleet. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. All right, we can once we have. These this fleet we can send this these corvettes in. Um, let's see, Corvette. Can we can we upgrade? We can upgrade these. So let's do this. This station under attack. Situation log updated. Let's do this. Station under this, attack. Construction this. complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, so now. Complete. So let's have this merge with that. Situation merge these. Alright, let's have you bombard that system, and then we'll have my transport fleet go in and destroy Situation them. Log updated. Aha! So that fleet is now dead. Cool. So, uh, I can actually go ahead and just disband this whole 
this whole fleet. Because Corvettes take up a lot of resources that, that aren't necessary. So now I own this system. And I can colonize all these planets around it. So we need to go ahead and build ourselves up a spaceport right now. And then I'll go ahead and keep on building up my battleship fleet here. Let's make this one of our sectors. Create a new sector here. Let's include all of these planets. Yeah, there's a lot of planets for me to colonize around here. Uh, and once we build a spaceport, we'll build some science ships, we'll upgrade our spaceport, and so on and so forth. So, I wasn't able to defeat the Hothcom Nation, but I was able to expand my empire just a tad bit. Um, and I'll be able to, like, colonize all these systems around in here, and I'll be, be able to make even more power, start building up with even more minerals, and I'll be able to build my fleet even larger, and then I'll eventually destroy the Hothcom Nation, especially once my Devastator Tortilla devastator torpedoes our research so i'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode here though um thank you for watching this part of stellaris if you enjoyed the video pause that if you enjoyed the video leave a like uh subscribe to the channel for more stellaris videos daily town of salem videos other playthroughs of other games uh leave some feedback down below positive Reinforcement, uh, negative, uh, po negative reinforcement, I don't care. Feedback is good to know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.